So Matt, appreciate your time joining us. Obviously, we're getting towards the end of pre-season now. Yeah. I would have thought pre-season in general, though, with the players obviously coming back, they've had a month or so, perhaps not doing as much training as normal, they're coming back to the hard summer grounds. I'm guessing this time of year you do a lot of strains and niggles that you perhaps wouldn't get during the season itself. Yeah, yeah, it, normally it is. It's usually the, uh, like I say, the lack of hard training and then they come back in obviously I mean Nick builds them back into that very sensibly and they do have work to do in the summer you know when they're not with us but you are at an increased risk as the body gets used to uh, you know gets used to the, the toll of everything again there's a slight increased risk that people pick up little strains and pulls and we're lucky really muscle wise we don't get we don't get much on that front um, injury wise pre-season we're usually usually all right and I suppose when you, you talk about these, these slight strains, these slight niggles, you've got to factor in obviously the friendlies that were playing. A regular game, someone might have a slight injury, obviously they would play if it's, yeah. a, if it's a title decider or relegation or whatever. Obviously, friendlies, I'm guessing yourself, the manager, Nick, have to decide obviously what is an educated risk. Obviously, player needs a certain amount of minutes, but they don't want to aggravate what could be a minor injury into a worse injury. I suppose there's a lot of conversations this time of year. Yeah, like yeah, and generally, especially with this, this staff and the, and the medical staff, it's it's caution first at this stage of the season you know there's there's always a, a potential that a player misses so many games through a, a strain that you you know you don't want to risk it or make him worse there's always the potential to arrange another game in a couple of weeks like we have done you know with the Whitby game so you always err on the side of caution you tend to pull people out of sessions and and it's not a massive issue with our squad because they're pretty much honest lads you know so you know that if someone's coming to you with someone 99% of the time it's genuine um, and you just might have to make the call to, to pull them out of a session and, and like I say if you're in end of April and you're going for the playoffs or the championship it's a completely different uh, decision that will get made there and obviously talking of course and unfortunately as in life with any way there's, there's always that element of, of something happening that's out of your control obviously we've had unfortunately the three quite serious knee injuries obviously yeah. Philippe Marais, Joe Brennan, which people probably know about, obviously the apprentice defender, unfortunately Jack Walker's, uh, Walter, sorry, has, has also got a bad knee injury. Yep. I'm guessing, obviously, that doesn't happen very often that you get three knee injuries in such quick succession. It's, it's no, just it's, a shame. It's unbelievably rare, yeah. It was it's a bit freakish, really, to be honest, how it's happened. So, obviously, we lost Joe at first at the Motherwell game. Innocuous, went to put the brakes on quickly and just crumpled underneath himself, really. Um, Philippe in training again, innocuous challenge, but he went down awkwardly. And again, Jack, I think, you know, landed on his own body weight and, and off it went. Uh, uh, was that Osset, wasn't it? He did that. So, yeah, we've had three in quick succession, which I think mainly f for everyone, it's for the players you feel most. I mean, yeah, it's it, it's not good for the medical staff that you've got a room full. It's it's not good for the manager that he's losing certain players out of his squad. But ultimately, it's for the lads. It's you know, it's pretty horrendous that they're going to spend six to nine months with me so that's enough to put anyone up in it but I think what they want probably the only slight positive out of the whole thing is that they've almost got their own little rehab group three of them together now I mean they probably won't look at it like that at the minute but they will, there will be times where they'll drag each other through but to get three of them in in uh, the space of like, two weeks or something it's it takes some doing it does take some doing but there's nothing really you can do about it